In today's video, we bought a brand new toy for Boston, a new snorkel set. During the video, we do find it's one major flaw. And I get to freeze my ass off testing it. Why am I always the one testing this stuff? All right, bud, well, I think the first thing we have to do, Michael's, of course, arrived with the uh, bait. Thank you for getting the bait, my friend. <laughs> um, so first thing we have to do, I think, is we have to just open up the snorkel. So just so everyone knows, we've got the one snorkel unit as well as the separate pump. Oh, it's got a photo on the back. What's that, buddy? It's got a photo on the back. Yeah, so it should have the snorkel, the, um, uh, the breathing apparatus, of course, the connection for the bottles, as well as the compressor connection. Both of these we can't use because we don't have uh, tanks for scuba. So we're gonna have to use the pump. But anyway, let's see what's inside first. We end up ordering the Pro model, which is the large model, which is 20% larger, which they say you can snorkel underwater for 10 minutes, which I really don't believe, but that's what minutes, they yeah, say. See, Correct. 10 minutes, I can see that sitting in a pool not moving. Yeah. But it depends how fast you breathe, I guess. So what do we got? We got the how-to guide, which yeah, we're I will read, read for you, because I know that you don't read how-tos. And it looks like to me, that is the uh, connector for a scuba tank to fill it up. That is the Oops, compressor sorry. adapter for that, which we're not going to use either of those. And these are the two. The main reason why I got the Pro, see you've got the gauge here. Oh, is the gauge attached? Yeah. So it's pretty much, okay, All right, so cool. let's get it connected. So if you just want to pull that top off there, then yep. you can screw it all together. And what we'll do is we will undo, there you go. The things you find online. <laughs> That's right. Let's open up the pump and let's have a look at that, eh? Oh, okay, I guess oh, it opens that so way. Look. So it looks like, just so you know, what we've got is we have, that is the air filter that you pump through. You have a handles with filters. That is the secondary air filter. That's the actual pump. And this is the connection. And I've just dropped it coming out. As you can see, that's a refill uh, for, I believe, the filter. I think this is gonna be the first time I ever might need to read instructions. Yes, I tend to agree with Because I like life and I'd like to keep mine. That's right. Go for it. All right, let's get the parts out. Oh, they're hefty. Yeah, yeah. That's, a... that's... Yeah, she's pretty heavy. So what's this one? This one's the secondary air filter. So is that like... Screws on top. Like that? Yep. I'm assuming it goes that way. So I'm just trying to figure out how it's yeah. like... Oh. It gets heavy from here. All right, so there is a small little screw at the front here you have to loosen off to allow the bolt through to hold it in place, just so everyone knows. We're not going to show you that because that was bloody horrible. We, anyway. We did it by the book. <laughs> exactly. So, cable. So as everyone knows, what we've done is we've just put the filter into the air filter. We've connected, obviously, the uh, snorkel tank, which is obviously connected to the bottom of the pump. And Caleb was saying it's not going to move. If you have a look down the bottom here, there's a small little screw. Just twist it around, Caleb, so it lines up to come out. You'll see it lines up here, so then Caleb can pull it up. So it's a locking mechanism to stop it going. So, Caleb, go for it. The boys have just run off to get some uh, drinks and a little bit of lunch to take with us. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the, uh, the boat, go off to our fishing spot and have one of us try and pump this up while the others are fishing. We want to see how long it takes and see whether these things are worth the effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, engine's off mate. Alright, so to be clear, we are starting on zero pressure. Pumping it in now. Got the stopwatch going. And it is now exactly 10 to 2, mate. How That's, long is this going to take? I don't you know. Saying? You don't want to know. They, they, they told me 10 minutes when I, 10 to 12 minutes when I read online. The time on my Michael's about, you're about maybe, yeah, maybe less. No, you're about eight minutes in. And you're breathing hard, mate, I can tell. Well done. And you're at what? In between 1500. So you're about nearly halfway. Sorry, I'm five seconds well in. Well done. I already did what dad couldn't. Have you already pulled the knot out? I hate knots. I'll get something cast, mate. I'll let you have a cast and I'll have a go in a second. All right, can you cut me up two little bits? All right, so we're at, what are we at, mate? A hundred, okay. Oh, it's actually. You gotta put your body weight on yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta like drag the air in now. Yeah. Oh, God, okay. I can see what you mean by workout. It's, yeah. holy God. We're at around about, probably just 110 PSI. Whew, really hard. How long are we going for? Probably take away the time and drop, probably about maybe 15 minutes. Dad, I got something. You got something? Yeah. yeah. You, you got a, what did you get? Butterfish. You're a pretty fish, but you just, it's a big one, mate, but you just can't, yeah. You're a pretty fish. 
Maybe we should um, keep one one day and try and eat him and just see what, what they taste like, but you know. Are they good eating? No, I've heard that they're not. So I just throw them back. I'll get back to pumping. Yeah. Oh, it looks like, sorry, I, I oh, got able to pump for about five or six and then Caleb's got something. He's either got two or something big. Oh, it looks good. Can be a snap or something. What is it? Ooh, she's fighting. Oh, oh. oh. That is a striped something. And I can't remember what it is. He's what is called, he's a trumpeter. Oh, yep. He's a one star. Oh. We're throwing him back. <laughs> he's a one star. Oh, he should have kept the cod. Oh, well. All right. It's a pretty fish though. See you, buddy. You're lucky. You suck. See ya. Holy Jesus, that's the fourth time I've dropped this thing. All right, I've now got four pumps. I've got to pump this now. So stop catching fish, both of you. Right. right so just so you know, it's taken us now, I would say at least 20 minutes of three of us pumping this thing to get it up to, I think that's 200, uh, to actually be able to use this. And it's looking like it does all work. The um, regulator works, everything else works, which is good. So we are going to try, I've got to put the link back on. So unfortunately, it looks like the sea breeze has come in. So I think we might test this in the pool. With the Pro model, it's actually a larger tank, but you also get a second one. So I thought, why not pump it up to see if it's any easier on dry land? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't any easier, but at least Sammy got to dance to the beat. I'm getting a workout. Heart rates are pumping up about 160. And as I say to Sam, just here he's shooting the basketball to keep you company before we wake um, uh, Caleb up. Of course, obviously, I don't know whether I'll be able to do, th oh, my arm's holding, holding this camera. I don't know whether I'll be able to do this as well as out there. But anyway, I'm gonna get it to 150. Caleb will do the next one to 150, then we'll give this thing a shot. Well, you're practicing for your basketball charity match. I get it. Keep practicing and I'll keep pumping. <sighs> Bit cold in there? Yeah. We gotta disconnect it. The thing is, is there's a bleeder valve down the bottom here. You bleed that off, you twist it, and it bleeds. It's gonna make one hell of a racket, just so you know. But you bleed it off, because if you don't bleed it off, and you just obviously just take it off, you'll have the great big bang at that side. So bleed it off before obviously you uh, disconnect it. All right, so on the website it says, if you get it to 150 PSI with the pro that we've got, um, you should be able to get 60 breaths. So what I think, mate, is you go down to the bottom, sit underneath there, I time how long you're underwater so we know, and we also time, and you can, can you count your breaths? Oh, I can count to 60. <laughs> oh, good. You coming in with us? Me. Just test the, um, just test the regular, make sure it's working. When I start seeing bubbles coming up to the top, I'll start the timer, yeah? Started, all right, he's on the bottom and breathing. All right, let me get in. Carry. We're at two minutes and 55 seconds. It is really cold in there, just FYI. All right. Go on, Sam, jump in. Go on. Go on, jump in. <laughs> Told you it was cold. It's freezing in there. I think he's running out of air now. Five minutes, buddy. <laughs> it's a bit cold. <laughs> it's cold. I, I got straight down the first thing. I, I, How many did you get to? 51. 51? And then I probably could have I probably could have gone longer if it wasn't hypothermic. I got can't it. feel it. it. So. Final verdict. I liked them. I, even though even though I couldn't feel my toes, couldn't feel a thing, trying yeah. to control my breathing. I agree. I think they've got a place. Um, the biggest downfall is that pump. Pumping for that sucks. 20 minutes and I just went to the gym. I'm I'm a pretty fit guy and it was pushing me. I did that, it took me 20 minutes to pump it up. The only thing is, is as I was explaining to Kat, we are looking at getting our scuba diving license. Um, and you have to understand the risks of scuba diving. Uh, like for example, breathing out on the way up and so on. It's certainly not made for a Samuel. No, um, kids can't use it, it's too dangerous. So what do you rate it? Out of 10, what do you think? I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight out of 10? Only reason, in total? Only re in total, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Right. only reason I have it at an 8 is because I love the concept of this. I love the idea yep. of this. But it takes two points off without a doubt. Yeah. Maybe three with that pumping. That sucks. Yeah. Or, of course, you can actually get um, a scuba tank. When you have a scuba tank next to it, you can fill these up in about 30 seconds. But we aren't scuba divers yet. So we may have to get a compressor. So oh, no. what would I give it? The problem is it's going to be split in two. If you want to understand the concept, if you um, have a compressor or a uh, bottle on board, I would agree with you, 
eight out of 10. I think it's an awesome idea and it's great. If you don't have that and you have to pump it up, I would give it four out of 10 because I will never sit on the boat pumping this up for 20 minutes That's to right. get five minutes under. So we are looking at getting scuba diving tanks. So we are looking at obviously getting the rest uh, to make this easier. What's our next video? What oh we yeah, we go and catch herring. Well, you went fishing for squid. Yes. You ended up getting herring. Yes. And I filleted my first red meat fish. That's right, on the back of the boat. So if you want to watch that video, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, video link right over his head. Oh, and I'll put the subscribe button right over his. Probably subscribe first. No, watch the video first, then subscribe. How about pick the one that's wearing the Udi? Yes, the one who actually ends up having to <laughs> test all this product. And yeah, maybe pick him first. We're turning the tables. This is your job from here on out. I get two free passes. <laughs> you do. That, I was that in was bed tough. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> that, that was tough.